Good morning and welcome to another adventure with MKP. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. Um, we're at a place called Odds Farm today. Never been here, so a new one for us. Another PR visit. So uh, I don't know what we're going to find, but whatever it is, I'll film it if I can. See you later. Very well, thank oh, you. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> going to sneak past you. And yes. Have... Right, guys. We are going to go into the animal barn. Don't know what's in there, other than animals, of course. And uh, we'll see what we can film in here. Get you in a minute. Okay, going into the feeding area for the animals. So we'll see what we can find in here. These chicks, only a few days old, still haven't got all their feathers, that's why they're in here. But uh, they're giving me funny looks, I'm not unusual. Size of him. <laughs> all hungry, mate. Huh? No, I'm alright. I don't want to touch the lock. You hungry, mate? Hey, I ain't got food. I'm hungry. Look at them. Can't get enough, can they? That, trying to get out. Kick me goats. Right, this little one here that's being left out. <laughs> All getting fed. They know what's going on here. <laughs> Do you think there might be a litter of pigs here? <laughs> I'm not going to try and count this lot, but she must have had a heyday doing this. This is our girl called Willow. Her breed is a Tamworth. All of our pigs are, oh sorry, start at the farm, are rare breeds, which makes them very special. I think Tamworths are the nearest thing to old Iron Age pigs, I think. This is Rue. This is a middle white pig. She has the same birthday as Kanga as their sister's born on the 18th and the 9th and 20. She's another big girl. These baby goats, again, I don't know how old, but they're very small. You can see that on camera or not. PlayStation play area. The tractors are buried in the, in the gravel for the kids to play on. What a great idea for them. Bunny rabbit. At the moment, the rain is holding off, but it's not very promising at the moment. Never mind. It is what it is. Piglets like the mud. <laughs> Look at that. Having a smoke round. Oh, having a drink out of the puddle, that one. <laughs> in the mud 
Uh, we're going to have a route round up there now. <laughs> Not really the best view of a Jersey cow, but I don't know whether you can see, but on the floor between the post and the shed there is the calf. And looks like mum's looking after it now. Oh, There's the one that's going to be milked. Knows exactly where to go, look at that. Look at that, knows exactly where to go. Jersey. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. So I haven't attacked her up yet, but I'm just going to finish. It's not really an awful lot of milk at the minute. So I'm just going to round that by the six litres. So about to hear on the drum. So that's just because it's been just under a year since she's had a calf. So she had a calf back last July. And what happens when they have a calf, they're all going to turn really high. And it drops again as the calf gets older. So they're not needing to naturally produce the milk from their calf. So they don't have to fix it. Produce like more than that 40 pound calf, and then it goes up, and then it drops again as the calf gets older, just so they're not needing to naturally produce it. So, more than do it now, which I'm just feeling like cheeks, so just so I can get them cheap ready. So, I'm going to attach her up now. So, here's the top four clusters, and what's a little bit of pressure. Take it through the pipe, send it into the jar over there. But does anybody know where the clusters get attached to? Yeah, her teeth, well done. The pipe you need to get confused with the other. So the other's what stores the milk. So the other's what's going to get confused with the other. So the other's what's going to get confused with the other. So the other's what's going to get confused with the other. So the other's what's going to get confused with the other. So the other's what's going to get confused with the other. So the other's what's going so the milk's just going through the pipes now and then it'll come out into the jar any second. There we go, so there's the milk. So there's three very important things that can't be used to do this milk. Anybody know what they are? Look at the right now. Yeah, food. There's can eat some dairy nuts. I think it takes a lot of energy, but it's very important for a dairy cow when they're producing lots of milk. So how's actually got a four stomach? They can go into the first two, they bring it back up, churn it again, then go back down into the other two. What do we think the other two pour it into? Opposite food? Yellow water? So how much do you make a cow to bring it again? Right guys, well, I must stop saying right guys. Okay. We've all had our lunch, we've had a picnic lunch, which you can bring in here. Uh, we've seen you, well, as you saw, milking the cow, we saw that. And we're going to have a look around. It's massive, this place. It really is. It's a great place to come to. Um, I've just been sitting here watching red kites flying about 10, 10 foot above my head. They're brilliant birds. Very big. So, next part of the exercise is we're going to go further around. I think there's a show on. I'm not sure what, but... We'll have a look and see if it's any good. Um, and we'll move on from there. So I'll catch you later on. That's Captain Buzz with your mother. Buzz? I mean, uh, Captain Buzz. Uh, according to my coordinates, we are bang on top. So that means we're here? Affirmative. Uh, huh? Yes, we're here. Oh, good. Power dive. Odds Farm. Oh yes, of course, in the legendary realm of Beeponsville. 
Yeah. I want to know how many is where all the other odd-bods are. Good day, fellow odd-bods. Uh, maybe they can't hear me. Good day, fellow odd-bods. Oh, they're not very alert, are they? Perhaps they don't like being called oddbods. <laughs> Shouldn't we call them by their proper name, you know, solitary bees? There is nothing wrong with being an oddbod, honey. I know that, Buzz, but all these bees all come from different hives, don't they? We've got to talk the way they do. I've got an idea. I reckon if I say what's the buzz, they'll all shout back, buzzing, you know. Are you sure? Yeah. So when you say what's the buzz, they're all going to say buzzing, are they? Well, let's give it a try. Don't let me right. down now, ready? What's the buzz? Buzzing! You could be louder than that. What's the buzz? Buzzing! What's the buzz? Buzzing! 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 Well, you seem to have a handle on things here, honey. Carry on, Wing Commander. Roger Wilson. Wilco. Sorry. Wilco Wilson. No, I just... Oh, never mind. Anyway, listen, chaps. We're here to implement Plan B in order to answer the big question so that everything is tickety-boo. Or tickety-bee, as it were. Right. We're on a scavenger hunt. Don't know what it means, but we'll have a look. Here we go. Now Florence is looking for something. Have a hedgehog on the ground here. Ha <laughs> ha! What you got to find, have you? Sharp Florence, what are you finding? Yeah, but what colour frogs? No, orange frogs. An orange frog. Come here. Wow. See a green frog? Oh, these are all the bunny rabbits hiding. Kids have got to find them. Come out. We have sheep across here. Don't think they're part. Oh, look at that. The clouds are rolling in, but we're still dry, luckily. Sheep having a, something to eat. Bit of a wide view of this particular area. More sheep, more chickens. This is called Chicken World. As you can see all the way around. That says Marmalade Mini Rovers. As you can see, little mini Land Rovers to go around. They all have a drive electric ones. All having great fun. There we go, it's a better view of them. Lovely. That's unusual, that one. Coat. A tractor going round in the background, doing tractor rides. All part of the entry fee. Excellent. Let's see what we can find. There's all your Highland cattle information. Press the space bar if you want to read it all. A couple of little rules just while we're setting up here. Make sure we stay in our seats the whole way round. It can be quite a lovely ride, so safely sat down is best. Please also make sure we're keeping arms, legs and everything else inside the trailers at all points. If anything does make its way overboard, please shout at me as loud as you possibly can. I'll jump out for you and we can get back on our way. So those of you that can hear me waiting, they didn't hear before, I'll be back in 15. It's 
and they're crossing the two. We kind of get the best traits of both of those breeds in one angle. Now, in the middle here, we do have a couple of empty fields, so I know they're a bit more boring to look at. Than now, the other rams that are around the base of the tree, I'll tell you their names, maybe a touch about them. So, laying out away from the tree on the left hand side there, that is Wilbur, our white faced woodland ram. Kind of smack bang, he's just about to roll onto his side there. Uh, it makes me laugh when you do that. Uh, but that is Henry, our Herdwick ram. Now, Herdwicks are typically the livestock team's favourite breed because they, they're pretty easy to work with. They don't tend to cause too many issues. Notice how I say it, tend to. Henry is a bit of, a bit of the problem child, really. Last okay, well, that ends today's little out trip to Odds Farm. Would I recommend it? Yes, I would. I think it's well worth the money. There's masses of things to do. There's big soft play areas, outdoor play areas, tractor rides, crazy golf, animals of all descriptions, which you can touch and feed and all sorts of things. Um, yeah, well worth the effort to getting down here. Took just over an hour, traffic no problem. I don't know what it's gonna be like going home, but there we go. Anyway, don't forget, if you like the video, well, even if you don't, like, share, subscribe and comment it will help me get to my 100 subscribers. I've got 91. Thank you to whoever joined recently. So until next time, this is MK Pete signing out and you all stay safe now. Bye bye.